Hello and welcome to my incredibly messy room. Today's video is a big wardrobe declutter. I've just been feeling like I really need one. Um, I just think it'll help the energy in this room so I can get in here and kind of work more and be more creative. I feel like it's quite messy and the energy is just a bit stale at the moment. Also, I could just do it a bit of a, a refresh after our um, well-dressed members club, like August reset, I guess, August kind of detox slash reset, um, which if you're not a member of the well-dressed members club at the moment, it's just a Facebook group, so it's free. I'll leave a link below if you want to join it. We're going to do another challenge for September as well. I'm just kind of ironing that out this weekend. But I feel like I need to sort my shit out before I can kind of sit down and think about something really creative and really plan things out. Um, so that's why I'm tackling my wardrobe today. And my hair is also I'm not going to apologize that my hair is a mess because it's my hair. Um, but I am getting a haircut today, which is like another little energy um, reset. I think I'm just going to get a couple of inches off um, and just shed some of that old energy that I've been hanging on to um, for a while. So that is why my hair is just thrown up and I'm not going to do anything until I go to the hairdressers. Um, so my main plan today is to take absolutely everything in my wardrobe. Kind of started a little bit in this section here and then I remember that I I always get uh, real stuck in um, and then I forget to actually film from the beginning. I'm going to pull everything out. I'm going to sort through everything. Anything that I feel like I might not want to keep or kind of a bit iffy about I want to just put it in a pile like everything that I'm not 100% sure about goes in the maybe pile and I'm going to keep whittling down the maybe pile until I literally kind of have the bare bones left of what I just don't want to keep but I also have some winter and autumn autumn and winter clothes upstairs under my bed that I want to take out I think I'm going to tidy what's here first then I'll bring those down open up the bag see what's in it do a little kind of reshuffle of that as well yeah it should be good um as you can see it's it's quite messy back here already and to be honest i only took out a few things there like this much that's on hangers the rest was just already there the rest was already messy so that's what i'm dealing with so that's why i need to do this and then also i kind of want to like let me show you i want to redo this area of my room a little bit i want to remove this unit because it's just too big I do need storage, but not this one. And I want to put my desk back kind of facing out of this wall so that when I sit behind my desk, I have my back to the wall. And I just feel like, I just feel like a desk, when you sit out facing the room, I don't know, it's like, I keep saying energy, but just a better energy flow. Um, Feng Shui says you're not really supposed to work with your back to the door anyway. Um, and it's nice to kind of like face my room. It's nice to face my wardrobe, at least if I'm, you know, planning content or anything, I can kind of see what's hanging in my wardrobe and I can plan around that. So that's another project in itself. It may not happen in this video. This will be more about um, the clothes, I guess, but I might do like a bit of a separate vlog for that. Just like a little reset vlog. I don't know. I feel like I really want to make it. I don't do vlogs m anymore at all, really, but I used to, and I just feel like I kind of want to again. I'm not sure if anyone's going to want to watch personal vlogs not necessarily like personal life because I don't vlog other people it's just always me and my thinking and what's going on and all that stuff so got a lot of home renovations at the moment too I'm in the middle of renovating my kitchen and this is what I'm doing while my paint dries so I've got two projects on the go this weekend luckily it is a bank holiday so I've been talking for four minutes for this intro Let's get into the declutter. Also, excuse me, I'm still in my pajamas. Maybe I should get dressed, but I think it's better sometimes to declutter in non-clothing items because then you have those in your piles and you can kind of sift through that yourself. So if it's just your PJs, that's not something I'm going to be decluttering. I love these ones. So let's get going. I'm
So the decluttering is going well, it's the next day. Um, I went and got a haircut yesterday and then I kind of just um, chilled out for the evening because it is bank holiday weekend. I don't want to like declutter and paint my kitchen like all weekend. Um, so I'm gonna get through the next little bit of decluttering. I swear I have, I kind of found both of my storage bags of clothes, but I swear I have more because I know I didn't find my, literally one thing I know that I didn't find and it's my Spanx leggings that I got um last winter and I know I still have them and I haven't found them yet so I know there must be a bag somewhere <laughs> so I'm going to go look for that in the attic um and then I'm going to continue to sort those bits um I did already put my uh winter kind of storage bag up at the top of my wardrobe so I'll show you when I do a little tour at the end but I may have to take it back down to get some more winter bits in but yeah I'm just very confused I think maybe they have a suitcase somewhere or maybe I have more stuff under my bed. I don't know. Um, I just know that there's more. But it's going well. It's looking really organised. I kind of like how I have my shoes here now. And then I have... I've kind of reorganised this side a little bit. I didn't do what I was going to do and like put use that storage. I still have some shoes. But I'll show you a little room tour as well when I'm done. Because I haven't actually done one of them yet. Um, so, okay. I need to go to the attic first. I need to drink my coffee because I keep letting my coffees go cold this weekend. I'm just like painting and priming and organizing and everything all weekend and then every time I make a cup of tea or coffee it just it goes cold. So here's just an example of something that I really want to keep, I love it, but it's just not in very good condition anymore. Um, and so I don't feel like it gives me that look that I that I want to go for, you know, when it's like, I want to just look a bit more polished and put together. And I think wearing a bawdy, scruffy jumper 
it's just not going to be that for me um i have multiple times tried to like comb this with a cashmere comb but it just doesn't seem to work as well on i think this is mohair angora um yeah, so it just looks really fluffy Let's see if i can show you like super not, it's not even that it's fluffy it's just that it's really like bobbly and stuff um so i feel like i might need to get rid of this even though i i loved it so much when i got it it's actually really soft as well um and it's just really cute when we were getting i got it and i was just like felt so feminine um little tight the side the other thing as well the sleeves one the cuffs almost seem like they're a little bit flared now i think they might be just stretched and they're also not like that's like a weird angle but they're not a perfect length on me they're kind of short um so as much as i want to keep this i just don't think i can plus i don't think i've worn this like really pale pink um for like day-to-day -day wear in a long time but yeah loved that so much maybe i'll have a search and see if i can find it unvinted again in like a better quality or something i have been so lucky before to find um things like that twice so that could be cool um yeah there wasn't that much winter stuff in there it's actually more summer stuff um did find my spanx leggings found this cool like pleated leatherette midi skirt that i have only worn a handful of times but like i really love the look of it and i really want to wear it with like polo neck and knee-high boots and i feel like maybe i think last year i did i was kind of working from home a lot so last winter and the winter before working home a lot not going to the office much um so it could be one of the reasons why i haven't worn a lot of this stuff um and now that i do go into the office more this could be um a really cool work look in excuse me in the colder months got my baker boy hat back out i was looking for this the other day this is like how i fight off the rain literally just have a peek um so i don't really like raincoats i have these boots that i worn loads and originally i got like a cheap version in pennies it was pennies it was in ireland at the time um or primark so um then i wore them so much that i got a pair from off depop but these are from office i think um and they're like a leather pair but these just didn't seem to be as comfortable as the other ones i had so then i feel like and also the sole is a little bit slippier so I feel like I didn't wear these as much and just I've kind of grown out of love with this style. I just don't feel like it really fits in with me anymore. Like I do have another pair of black boots that I feel like, sorry, I keep chopping off the top of my head. Let me just sit on the ground. Like these are me. These like bit of a heel. They're a bit like slick and edgy, but they're still kind of chic. Whereas these are a bit more edgy. They don't really give me chic vibes. I feel like this might be the um the year that i finally get rid of this style but i honestly don't think i wore them at all last year and if i did it was to like run out to the shop because they are completely flat which is one bonus and i don't really have completely flat boots but i just don't wear them so i'm just gonna put them in this bag for vintage i have a lot of things to upload um i have to photograph all that as well okay let me show you a quick tour let me tidy this stuff up and then I'll show you the tour because isn't that what, what everyone wants to see is kind of like the nice end result. Um, yeah. Okay, let me give you a little room tour because I haven't done one before. So the first thing when you walk in is my mirror on the side. There's this old Ikea unit that's still just full of like beauty products and makeup. And this is my kind of little getting ready section. I have my dried flower wedding bouquet, which I forgot to actually use on the day. So I'm really glad it was dried because it didn't go to waste. Then I have my wardrobes here, which you'll see in a minute. I'll go through that. Oh, squeaky floor. Then I have, I moved my Ikea unit to here. I'm not sure if you saw before where it was, um, but I moved it alongside the wall and then I, I kind of just swapped these two around. So I put my desk back here because this was the dream of where I wanted it. I love a desk that just kind of sits out from the wall. So then my view while I'm working is my room and my wardrobes and when it's tidy it just looks really good so 
I love this view and I find it a lot more uh, inspirational, I guess, than whereas I had my desk here and I was literally just, this was my view, <laughs> not even out a window, it's frosted. Uh, I have a little mirror here as well that I had put in, wanted to bounce around some light, but originally I thought it'd be kind of a cute spot to look at outfits, but can't stand here anymore, so that's fine. Got my podcasting microphone set up, um, got a little bunch of lavender, also lavender that we had at the wedding. Um, yeah, not much else to say. I need to get an office chair. That's one of our dining chairs. I have a sofa bed over here. So this is technically still a guest room. Um, yeah, this one is pretty, pretty basic. Uh, it did come with a broken leg. So that's why it's propped up on some casters over there. God, I'm really noticing how squeaky my floor is. This is my favorite cushion. These need to be recovered. They came with our sofa and I just brought them in to use as cushions, but I just don't like them. Here's two tops I still need to try on because I'm kind of iffy about whether I want to keep it or not. And then this is the mirror from a slightly better angle. So I can still look at my outfits here. Usually this is my kind of view. Um, so when I stand here, I can see it in full view, but obviously it's harder to get it on camera. The reason I'm holding my phone is because this is my microphone. Um, but yeah, this is a really cute outfit as well. I was making a reel with phase eight and so they sent me this little cohort and it's so comfy but I feel so chic um so it'd be a really great little working from home outfit if you wanted to feel dressed up but still super comfy because it's real like soft and stretchy but also great for like a holiday end of summer holiday or something but yeah so let me show you the wardrobe then I thought it might be easier if I just pop the camera up so not much has changed on this side um, I just kind of have less things hanging here. These are kind of my tops and things that I reach for or plan to reach for more frequently. Um, and I just kind of like the color scheme of this. It's quite neutral. As you can see, there's quite a lot of color going on in this section, but my occasion wear tends to be a bit more colorful. So things like this kind of orangey snake print, snake print dress. I could wear this like to work or something or if it was if I was feeling dressy, but generally I keep something like this for, I don't know, like a night out or an event or something. Likewise, my hen party dress. Let me zoom you in. So I've got my hen party sequins. Love that dress so much. Can't wait to wear it again. And it wasn't, yeah, it was my hen party. And then also kind of for my 30th birthday, but then I never really got around to wearing it a second time. Um, but I have, maybe I have a couple of weddings coming up that I could wear that too. Um, then I also have these two kind of yellow, dresses which I love um, and I have worn a little this one especially a little bit over summer um, but the, I kind of I find when I wear colour I tend to wear it in a dress so that it's all one outfit and then I find that a bit easier to style so I don't have to like pick bottoms or anything to go with something like with the colours I kind of like a head to toe colour outfit um, so dresses I have colourful dresses but I don't really have too many colourful like tops or bottoms um, apart from this pink blazer but I also bought pink um, trousers to go with it so that's again kind of like a head-to-toe look that I'll probably mostly wear together um, doesn't sound like the most versatile thing to only wear them together but I can wear them separately but I just um, you know if I was feeling like a little bit of pink over like an all-black outfit or something that'd be really cool um, and then yeah so it's just kind of this little rainbow of color in this section but again it's mostly i have my kind of creams and whites here um i have a beige beigey creamy coat that i'm it's kind of more like a stony color very looking forward to wearing i got a sample sale a couple of months ago i'm very looking forward to wearing in winter it's going to be amazing and then yeah the majority of my wardrobe is kind of like the browns grays and black um and this is more like day wear i guess yeah, I just pulled out a few things that I kind of want to challenge myself to wear that I haven't worn in ages, particularly this dress. Let me zoom back out and I'll show you. So this dress I bought in my final year of university. So this would have been September 2017. And I love it. It's an old Zara dress. I got it out of like a vintage kilo. But I love, I love the tie at the front. I love the long sleeve. I love that it's mini, even though I don't wear a lot of minis. But I love wearing this with tights and boots, just like, you know, kind of sheer black tights and black boots 
or sometimes I wear a black polo neck under it as well if it's really cold. Um, and it's kind of nice that I can layer up underneath it. Yeah, I just kind of want to wear something like that again. I feel like maybe certain elements that are in that dress are kind of missing from my style. Like it's a little bit playful because it's like the mini. It's kind of youthful as well. Like I do want to have a real like classic wardrobe, but I don't want to look older than I am. I still am only 30. Um, so I can wear some mini dresses. Um, I pulled out this um, linen jumpsuit that I just found in that last suitcase I pulled out. And I've been kind of wondering where this was because this would be perfect for work when it was like really, really, really hot weather. It's 100% linen, but it's still like covered up. Um, so I'm going to keep this in my wardrobe until like September's over and we know for sure that the sun is gone. Um, yeah, and just a lot of other pieces I'm looking forward to wearing, like this skirt. Oh, I love this skirt so much. It's kind of this like self-patterned zebra print skirt and it's just so comfy and I've had it a good few years, maybe like three, <laughs> I'm getting caught in the hangers. I've had it maybe like three years and I wear it every single autumn and winter and technically I could wear it into spring and summer as well if I want to, but I wear it so much during those kind of cooler months that I like to take a little break from it because I don't want to overdo it either. Um, yeah, so that's kind of that section. Very um, obvious, but I just kind of want to show you a little bit through it. Okay, so these sections, I feel like I need to stand out of the way to show you. So this section here is just all my bottoms, jeans, trousers. Not much has changed except for that one pair of brown trousers you can see here. Um, thought they didn't fit me, but I tried them on yesterday and they actually fit really nicely. So I put them back in. Then I moved my shoes here. Uh, like I said yesterday, not yesterday, earlier in the video, which was yesterday for me. And then I kept my long boots on this side as well, because I just feel like it was kind of the only place that they would fit. Um, but I just think they look nice just having some long boots. And I don't know, it just kind of, I can kind of see everything all together instead of it all being stacked on top of each other. So basically all my shoes are kind of in the same area. I have a couple of handbags in here as well, but I don't have many bags. I might have two here and I think I have two in the living room from when I was filming a reel. Um, but to be honest, my bags kind of just end up hung in the back of like a door or something because I only, I use them all so much. And the last thing I did was just pop some knitwear on some shelves so it doesn't go out of shape. And then I still have these two drawers as kind of like pajamas, active wear, socks, underwear, bras, those kinds of things. So that, is my wardrobe in a nutshell. Also up here, we have my storage bags, which I just, they really fit really handy up there. But yeah, that is that. I feel like it looks really nice. Um, it looks really nicely put together and hopefully I can keep it all nicely color coordinated. I did mention that one of the reasons I really wanted to go through my wardrobe and do a declutter and get rid of a bunch of stuff was because I was feeling a bit of a shift in my style and a shift in just the energy in my room and I well I wanted to feel a shift in the energy in my room so it's a bit stagnant and not much was happening in here the room was always a mess and I just wasn't feeling inspired by my style anymore or like inspired to like put on nice outfits I'm just kind of wearing the same black jeans every day um they're very comfortable and I love them so not a bad thing but I kind of just wanted to be wearing um I wanted to be feeling myself a little bit more you know feeling my style and enjoying experimenting a little bit so I definitely think obviously over the space of 24 hours or however long it took me, maybe like 30 hours to do this, my style hasn't completely transformed. But how I'm going to work with my wardrobe now that it's organized and now that I've gotten, you know, a little bit of my autumn pieces back in that generally tend to feel a bit more like me and my style. So hopefully bringing those back will just help me feel a little bit more grounded in my wardrobe again and get me excited to try different outfits and you know dress up a little bit more um yeah I'm excited for that so stay tuned for the process I guess hopefully I'll have some more transitional style videos up I did a transitional workwear one last week um which I'll link up here if you haven't seen it just thought it might be handy for people who are in a country that's like super hot at the moment that maybe isn't normally this hot and you're struggling with what to wear to work to still look presentable um so i put together a few looks for that but i think i just want to do some transitional style day to day um 
yeah, I'm excited to kind of get back into this room and film as well. I'm just like, my background looks so good right now. It looks so tidy and nice and let's hope we can keep it this way. So I'm gonna go, I'm actually gonna head out, seeing as it's Saturday and it is the bank holiday and I haven't really left my house other than to go buy some glue for my kitchen to um, glue on my trim. I'll show you that in another video actually, I think. I'll show I'm actually filming a tiny little reel um, of how I do my kitchen, so I will I will share it on on shorts or something. Um, but yeah, so I went and got some glue and popped to Tesco and got a haircut, but that was all in one outing. So long story short, um, I'm gonna go to Costa, I think. It's like the only cafe near me that I can kind of go and sit in. I'm gonna go take my laptop, edit this straight away, get it up this evening, because I know I tend to prefer to get um, my Sunday videos up early. But obviously I'm a little bit behind this week with this one, but I wanted to get this one up straight away because I feel like it's um, relevant right now for you. And I don't want to be putting it up in a couple of weeks when it's a little bit less relevant. Like it could be like well into autumn then and there's no point talking about wardrobe switch over, declutter, anything. Also in my well-dressed members Facebook group that I think I mentioned at the beginning of this video, yesterday so I don't remember. Um, I will leave a link below to the group because if you join I have shared two pages from my newest ebook which is all about like decluttering, how to do really you know successful declutter and to really find your style and kind of hone in on your style and personality and kind of just figure it all out basically and feel really good in your style. I've shared two pages from that in the Facebook group um, just basically if you want to do a wardrobe declutter I shared a page on like things to ask yourself while decluttering your wardrobe and then there's also another page you know if you're doing a bit of a try on and you're kind of wondering should I keep it should I not and I've also done another page basically um of like when you have the maybe pile like even more questions to ask yourself because if it's ended up in the maybe pile it's already like halfway out and if you can ask yourself the right questions you can really figure out if you're ready to let go of it or if it is something that perhaps you're not quite ready to let go of yet and you want to keep and just kind of suss it out a little bit more. So if you want those two free pages, click the link below, join the group. It's free. It's just a Facebook group. Um, you can always get them and leave if, if you don't want to stay, but we will be doing another um, monthly challenge in September, like I said. So stick around for that if you want to see what it's all about. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope this has inspired you to start thinking about your next season wardrobe. If you, if you love summer, then by all means, just hang on to that. Um, keep some elements of summer in your style if you can throughout autumn and you'll just feel a little bit better if that's if your style really if you really resonate with summer as a kind of style like loads of linen and soft colors and maybe really nice like floral dresses or anything like that just try and hold on to some of those items and see how you can style them up for autumn but for everyone else who's excited for autumn yes it's coming okay I'll talk to you guys really soon in my next one bye